Hey guys, it's Nicola. So we'll be doing your reading for April the 16th. Yeah, April the 16th through the 22nd of 2018. You guys have not subscribed to my channel. There's a little red button in this corner over here and I hope I'm pointing to it right. Hit that red button and make sure you hit that notification on the side too so you can get notified when I do my reads. I do live reads every day and I do live question and answer reads every Sunday. So you guys really want to hit that notification bar over there or that notification bell over there whatever it is hit it also if you guys would like to book a read with me you can do so on my website www.intimatewisdom.net if you guys would like to book a phone read or a live video read you can do that in the book now section if you would like to purchase the 25 dollar 30 minute video you can do that in the shop section if you guys want instant access to me type in www.instantgo.com slash intimate wisdom to get to me for my iphone ios users you can also download that on your app store guys enjoy hey, Pisces it's Nicola so this reading will be for April the 16th through the 22nd what messages do we have <coughs> I'm date choking for Pisces <laughs> April 16th and the 22nd messages for Pisces April 16th through the 22nd what messages do we have for Pisces April 16th Ooh, the 26th. First card out is a very positive card. We got the sun card. Hmm. Some of you guys are needing to make a choice, and maybe you're gonna feel like you make a wrong, you made a wrong choice within something. We got the Queen of Wands is underlying energy. So this does talk about someone wanting to assert their independence, using their ingenuity and their skills to get what they need. This is gonna be someone who's passion driven to do something. All right. So with the Sun card being the crowning energy or the reason for this read, we're talking about happy times, optimistic times. This can be dealing with a child. Some of you guys, this can be dealing with a child, maybe wanting to do some more research about your child, um, get to know, connect more with your child. For some of you guys, this is about your path, okay? You're wanting more happy times. So some of you guys are deciding either within a career, you're going to go back to school. This can be you in a relationship, offering yourself to another person. Um, but uh, for a lot of you guys, this can be going back to school or offering some type of foundation to someone. Um, this can be researching some things. So this could be you researching a new path with the queen of pentacles be very sensible this is about making understanding and compassionate decisions all right for some of you guys this can be a taurus capricorn or virgo and this could be your mother and maybe you're this can be your mother and you're offering some type of foundation or this can be a mother and they're you're offering some type of foundation to them with the lover's card this does talk about a relationship um this talk about two people joining in connecting together this talk about soulmate situations but i think in this situation more than anything this is about a choice so maybe you guys are needed to choose to go back to school or choose to work on your foundation nurture your foundation a little bit with the five of cups and the, with the five of swords and the five of cups this make this is this represents heartache after an unwise choice some of you guys may need may be needing to be more sensible in a relationship you could be offering yourself to someone possibly a leo that you think um will make you happy and this situation may not okay this five of swords this represents you needing to review your motives as well as review anyone else's motives in this situation to be sure that your motives are in line with what's going on with the five of cups this can talk about emotional loss this can talk about heartache heartbreak you not seeing the the brighter side of a situation okay needing to heal from a situation so this may be why you want to go in a new direction what messages do you have for Pisces April 16th through the 22nd Pisces April 16th through the 22nd Pisces April 16th through the 22nd Pisces April 16th through the 22nd. Okay, so we got the Knight of Swords. This represents some type of messages coming in very, very fast for you. Whether they be good, whether they be bad. I believe these messages will have kind of mixed connotation in it. With the Emperor card, this can be dealing with an Aries, but this can also be dealing with a job. This can be dealing with some type of organization that you're dealing with. Um, 
maybe you're needing to take a break from it this is legal issues for some of you guys this is you maybe needing to take some time to rethink some options before going all the way through with them this can be you also needing to gain some type of structure with something if this is the case take some time to really connect with yourself contemplate over what it is that you want to do before you actually make a move really be still right now with the five of swords i mean the five of wands this can represent bothersome details things coming up things popping up um that you know you may not like okay this could represent competition um whatever it is choose peace within that situation with the ace of wands here this does talk about something new starting new opportunity starting confidently accept that because this is a part of your path okay you're moving into a new cycle and you may get news of something new and this is what this is talking about right now you may be going through your own thing you may be um taking a break from a situation taking a break from a job and maybe you're going to find out about a new job or a new promotion and now you're going to take the leap of faith and go for it there will be some competition but i think overall you will be you know you will surpass whatever you need to surpass pisces so let's put these up what other messages do we have for pisces april 16th through the 22nd april 16th through the 22nd pisces. April 16th through the 22nd. Pisces. That Cardi B ring song with Kalani in my head. I love that song. All right. So, y'all, I know I shuffled these cards, but I got the Knight of Swords as the underlying energy again. And within this read, I have three other knights. So there is a lot of movement going on. Okay. There's a lot of movement within a lot going on with it. And I think this is news for some of you guys of finances, news of love, because I got love, finances, and I have some type of situation where you're needing to make a decision. Okay. The Seven of Swords. Uh, well, the seven of pentacles some of you guys are at a stalemate you're worrying about a situation worrying about the outcome of the situation whether your fruits will come into fruition some of you guys are worrying about whether the things that you have worked for will come um everything takes time we got the three of pentacles so this does represent the need for you to cooperate keep moving forward keep moving those gears okay keep working with the knight of pentacles this is about honoring your commitment so although you may find out some information or you may be worried about some type of foundation keep moving forward okay with the knight of cups here this does talk about following your intuition following like psychic abilities um but this can also talk about a new relationship so this could be a new person that's into your life and maybe you don't see him or maybe you don't see this person as a love interest but this person is coming in to offer some type of emotion so this can be where the messages we're getting coming in someone could be coming in to you know offer themselves to you what are the messages do you have for Pisces messages for Pisces April 16th through the 27th messages for Pisces April 16th through the 27th okay some of you guys are needing to get out and have some more fun you're beating yourself up over something i don't know there's something that you've either recently went through or something that you're still needing to heal through but get out and have some fun we got the two of wands here so this does represent someone that needs to come into their own this represent new partnerships this is an important partnership for some of you guys this could be a third party situation i hate saying that but this could be a third party situation this can also be just more than one person in a situation it doesn't have to be romantic now i think for a lot of you guys this is the need for you to get out and have more fun okay with this ten of swords this is about embracing changes understanding that things will get better this can be you needing to celebrate as well for something new coming in with this ace of pentacles some type of new foundation or a new job new home something new may, may be coming in a new start may be coming in so this could be a need for celebrate i got two threes in this though so this does talk about a third party situation maybe some of you guys are choosing between lovers right now but the three of wands is talk about having patience with yourself your abundance is coming in especially with the ace of pentacles there 
but you're getting a second chance at something, possibly a second chance at a job or a second chance at a relationship with a guy, uh, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Um, or this can also be a second chance at some type of assistance. So some of you guys may have put in for some type of assistance. Um, and this could be getting a second chance at that or some type of reprieve. This can also be someone passing judgment on your life as far as within a, re within a job or a legal issue. But there will be victory. There will be a reason to celebrate. There, there will be a reason to celebrate. So things should go in your favor. If not, it won't be as bad as you think it is. All right, so let's put these up. What messages do we have for Pisces? April 16th. Okay, Pisces. We got unrequited love. Okay, so it says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. We also put honeymoon. It says enjoy the bliss of the holiday time together. We have flirt. It says extend your lighthearted energy to others. What other messages do we have? We got new love. It says a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. I did pull it in the read, so this could very well be a new love for some of you guys. What other messages? Whoa. So we got love yourself first, and it is safe for you to love. It says your self-respect makes you rom more romantically attractive. And it is safe for you to love, says open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So for some of you guys, you could be in a situation where their feelings are not mutual either. The person that you're with is more enthralled or in love with you than you are with them or vice versa. It says there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going, but I don't see a releasing of any energy. So this can be just as, just as simple as talking with your mate, getting to you know know each other, deepening your bond, taking some time apart, enjoying the holiday time together. Um, it's about to be summertime, so you know take a take a trip or something, or go somewhere for the weekend. Um, so. For those of you that are single, this could have been someone that you are interested in and maybe that interest has like peaked, like now it's over with, it's dropping back down. So you could be wanting a new relationship or wanting to separate yourself because with Honey McCart, there talks about separation too. So some of you guys could be separating or wanting to separate yourself. With the flirt card, this talks about opening your energy up to other people. Some of you guys are needing to just extend your energy, okay, so that you can receive this new love. For those of you that are in a relationship, this talks about opening your energy to your partner and receiving some new, fresh, new, new from them, you know? Okay, so we got love yourself first. For those of you that are single, this is about being, this is about really having self-respect, okay? Loving yourself before you and invite anyone else in okay so we got it is safe for you to love especially for those that are single it says open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all so within that we say open your energy open your heart that's not opening your body and i know that's what my cards are getting at it's about respecting yourself understand that it is safe for you to love and you do not have to give yourself physically in order to receive this love for those of you that are in a relationship this is about self-respect as well. This is about making sure that your partner respects you as a part of this relationship because without you, it's not a relationship. So make sure that you're really focusing on your self-respect and you're really pushing it within your relationship. It says that now as an underlying energy, you got chemistry. It says there's a strong magnetic attraction here. So even though there are some issues, there's a strong magnetic attraction between you and another person. So if you're wanting to pursue that, pursue it. All right, so let's put these up. What messages do we have for Pisces? Hmm. So we got receptivity. It says allow your heart, allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. I pulled past life. So it says you could be dealing with a past life situation, whether you're in a karmic cycle or whether you're dealing with soulmate, soul familiar situations. We got endings and beginnings. It says the old must be released so that the new can enter. And this is definitely a definitely a valid statement. In order to receive new, fresh energies, you have to release old, stagnant, and negative energies. As your underlying energy we got the we got undying love it says the love you have shared is eternal regardless of the situation so this may be why we got endings and beginnings because you need to understand that that love will always be there but it's time for you to complete a cycle so pisces is all i have until next time y'all have a good night